What up, people of the world? My name is Jay, and welcome to this edition of Sleight of Hand 101. Today we're going to be learning about one of my favorite color changes in card magic called the Cardini Change. And once we learn that, we'll learn how to apply it to our own tricks. So grab a deck of cards, and let's get started. So I'm going to riffle down the side of the pack just like so. All I want you to do is to say stop at some point right there. Perfect. We'll go ahead and take a card from the center, the three of spades. We will leave that back in the center. That is your card. So remember the three of spades right there in the center of the deck. We'll go ahead and push that in. Now I'm going to cut the cards and give it a quick shuffle, thereby losing your card deep in the center, rendering it impossible for me to know where it is. Now watch this. If I flip the top card, the two of clubs, check this out. If I give it a flick, you'll notice that the two turns into your three of spades. Now let's see how that's done. First, we're going to learn the Cardini change, then we are going to apply it to our own trick. Here's the setup for the Cardini change. You wanna keep both of those cards on the top of the deck, essentially making them look like one, so you pull a double lift and get the five of hearts, when essentially you've got both. Now what you're going to do is position your hands like so. Put your thumb at the top left corner of the pack. Now if you're using your right hand, it's the top right corner of the pack. You wanna take the rest of your fingers and lay them completely on the side here, almost at an angle. The main fingers that you're going to use for this change are your pointer finger, your thumb, and your pinky. These two fingers lay rest. They will be used later on after the change has been performed. Now what you're doing is applying pressure with your thumb downwards, so giving it a bend. You're applying pressure with your pointer finger inwards, so you're kind of squeezing the cards. And with your pinky, you are applying downward pressure, like you're trying to pull the card down. Now here's what the change looks like without the hand in the way. With the hand over it, it's pretty hard to detect. And that's why you use your hand, is to protect this card from being seen. Now how did we do that? When you apply the pressure with your thumb and with your pointer finger, you have enough momentum to pull down that top card without pulling down the second card. So this is the motion with your pinky, going completely up and down. These two fingers are applying pressure. This is kind of a downward and this is more of a pinch. And your pinky pulls that card down. You should have a pretty good grip you're completely on the corner, you're basically covering up the number, and you pull down. So without the hand, it would look like this, pulling down. Now because you applied pressure with your thumb, this nine's gonna stay there. And because you applied pressure here with your pointer finger, pinching the card, the nine is also gonna stay. So let's see that again. Perform the change and you want to have your hand covering it. Hand positioning for this is all about figuring it out for yourself. So go look at a mirror and watch yourself perform it where your eyes will meet the card and position your hand where you think it's necessary. What you do is you literally pull it so fast that if you can flick it and make the change at the same time, it will look astounding like that. Sometimes you'll have it where you'll flick too early, so you'll kind of see something happen, but it'll also still just be the change, so it won't be too big of a deal. But essentially, that's all it is. Pressure here, pressure here. These two fingers kind of get out of the way. They can just sit on the side. Your pinky pulls down, so you're in this position and your hand's covering it. Now the cleanup is pretty easy. You want to take your hands, close the fingers so that you're not giving away the card. Your forefinger, your middle finger, and your thumb Pinch the cards, lift them up, flush this card with these fingers, flush it with the bottom in the act of twirling the deck. We'll look at this one more time without the use of the hand. You're in this position, applying downward pressure with your thumb, pinch pressure with your pointer finger, and with your pinky, as you apply both those pressures, pulls down that card. You're in this position. Take your hand, cover it. Take your pointer finger and your middle finger and your thumb. Lift up on the pack. Flush the card with the bottom of the deck. And while you do that, spin the deck. 
When you do it quickly, it'll look like this. That's the Cardini change. Now let's see how we can apply it in a trick. So for this trick, if you do not know how to do a double lift, I ask that you click the video at the top of the screen. Please learn that, come back, and we'll get started. So you'll go up to your spectator. You'll ask him to say stop as you riffle down the side of the pack. You can learn how to pull a double lift from the center of the deck from that video that I asked you to watch. But if you can't, just go ahead and pull a double lift from the top and say, here's your card, the five of hearts. They're gonna acknowledge that this is their card. You're gonna put, obviously, not their card in the center and you're gonna tell them, we're gonna leave your card back in the center of the deck where we found it if you pulled it from the center. At this point, you can shuffle the deck. Just be aware how you shuffle it though. If you're going to shuffle it like a normal shuffle, make sure you leave their card on top, know where it is so when you do the shuffle, you know it's here. Just make sure to leave it on top. If you're going to perform a swivel cut flourish, which is a false cut, which looks like this, essentially leaving their card back on top and the whole deck in the same order. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and click the video at the bottom of the screen, learn that, and uh, that can be a, a tool for you, but also you can just do a normal shuffle. As long as you keep their card on top, it does not matter. You wanna tell your spectator that their card is deep in the center of the deck and there's no way for you to find it. Give them the control. Make them feel like they are in control of the card trick. And your goal is to steal that control back from them by doing the Cardini change. So at this point, their card is on the top. What you wanna do is pull a double lift and show them the secondary card. Now your hope is that this card is different than this card, both in number but also in color. If this is a red card and this is a black card, the change looks really nice. If it's not and you're just kind of put in this position, it's fine. Uh, one of the worst case scenarios is you'll get a five of diamonds and a five of hearts. And that happens, you just have to suffer through it. Either way, they're gonna see the change. Now at this point, you say, watch what happens when I flick it. And as you flick, you perform the Cardini change. Lift up, flush it, and spin the cards, and you're all done. You're completely clean. Their card is on top, right where you wanted it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you learned something. You know, if you like this video, please hit that like button. I really encourage it, and it helps me so much, guys. I appreciate it a lot. And if you didn't like this video, which I can't imagine why, you're not gonna lose sleep over it. Just hit that like button, like I said. Yeah, I appreciate it and it really does help me out. Make sure you guys check out the description so you can see my Twitter, my Facebook, and my blog pages. We can all stay connected and have a good time. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.